Give goes to Meadows. Second and four now. Give goes to number 40, Stacey Lamb. There's a block. Quarterback on a keeper. Thompson carries it into the end zone for touchdown. Megan County. Fabrizio Belton on to attempt the extra point. The extra point attempt is no good. Number 30, Jake McKinney returns the kickoff for Pell Alley. Here goes to number 30, Jake McKinney. Keeper carries the ball out to about the Pau Valley. to McKinney. Gets out to about... Russell's pass complete to number 85, McNew. Receives the ball down on the Meigs County 34-yard line. The first down, 10 to go. Russell Pice intended from action. The ball is resting on the 33 yard line. The third down nine. Russell's pass complete to Michael Gooden. Good receivers as it has been all night. Gooden will not be out of the eye. Russell will care about the position. Good turn. Going to cross sides. Flag on the play. That's crucial because no time is going to run off the clock. Indication encroachment against Meigs County. Put that on the outside. 
Here goes the number 32, Willie Duffield. Duffield doing a nice job getting around the outside. The the next right there. Picks up about two yards on the... Russell's pass intended for Rogers. It's incomplete. Very lucky. Third down and two. Russell on the keep. I'm not sure if they can call him on that first down inside. Russell's pass is incomplete. Intended for number 84. Back in three, two, one. Back here at Spiegel, Tennessee, at Pie Valley High School, the Pie Valley Indians, they trail it by 20. They have the football now, fourth and goal from the three. Let's see, this could be the ball game right here. Absolutely amazing. Russell takes the snap, throws across the middle, complete. The two-point try is successful. Russell's pass is complete to number 82. David Rogers. Shift. Yeah. I'll try it again. Russell takes a snap, shakes away from the defender, under all kinds of trouble, unloads, it's complete. The Gilton brings him to run out from the hand. He can't get over no good. Looks kind of beautiful. Russell's pass. Complete, complete to number 33. <laughs> number 40, Stacy Lamb. inside the 10-yard line. Field goes to Meadows. Goes to number 40, Stacy Lamb, carries the ball into the end zone for Meigs County touchdown. Extra point. The extra point attempt is good. County extend the lead now to 
33 to 12. Their own 35 yard line with only 2.43 remaining in the contest. They'll just try to run the clock out. Pow Valley's going to be uh, content with letting the clock run also with that. They're well behind. Up the middle, Stacy Lamb takes it, just breaks through all kinds of Pow Valley defenders, goes across midfield all the way down to the 46 yard line. Excuse me, 43 yard line. John Thompson to the line now for Mex County. First and 10. Pow Valley 46 yard line. Hand off the straight up the middle. He'll take the end by. County showing a lot of class. They're not trying to run the score up. It's good what they have all night. They're the football game. They've got a lot of uh, substitutes in the game right now. Thompson had the quarterback. Takes a snap. Hand off over the right side. Takes a snap. And he's going to shoot. He's going to try to get a flag on He's dropped for a loss. Stop it. Everybody takes a snap. goes to now. All the way back. And ten. Victory here tonight. So Valley. 
We're not saying enough about the way this football team has played all season long. Jason Russell, Patrick, uh, McKinney, Rogers, uh, everybody involved. Fish around the defensive side of the football team. I would like to ask everyone if they would to please stay in the stand for the presentation of awards. Faithfully to boost the school spirit for each and every game. And last, but by no means least, the faculty and staff for their time, energy, and patience during the preparations for this playoff. Everyone working together has made this wonderful night possible and successful.